Trump has lost Alex Jones. He announces today he is off the Trump train. I mean, this man helped to incite an insurrection at the Capitol. And now the January 6th committee has subpoenaed text messages that his attorneys leaked to the uh, attorneys for the Sandy Hook uh, parents. And now he's turning on Trump. Let's watch this. Pig headedly support him a few years ago, even though I disagree with his warp speed, because I thought that we had to keep him in office because of the nightmare scenario if Hillary or Biden got in back before they were officially running. But that said, I am supporting DeSantis. DeSantis is just gone from being awesome to being unbelievably good. And I don't just watch a man's actions, as Christ said, judge a tree by his fruits. I can also look in his eyes on HD video and I see the real sincerity. This is what Trump should be like. And I've been hammering this point and he's doing it now, and we have someone that is better than Trump. Way better than Trump. So Ron DeSantis now has the uh, Alex Jones endorsement. That's pretty huge. Now, I love how Ron DeSantis got popular. By the way, thank you so much to CK Progressive for sharing that. I love how um, Ron DeSantis got popular by just, like, being terrible, by letting people die during a global pandemic and blocking mask mandates in schools. And of course, by doing that, this pro-life party, supposedly, they love him. He's now a superstar. Is that not fucked up? That's how insane the GOP base is. Look, if you have somebody in your family who's a Republican, you need to have a serious heart-to-heart -heart with them. Get their brain checked out if you can. It's fucking insane. The things that these people believe. Republicans in the United States of America are downright fucking insane. Before, I used to equate them with far-right parties in Europe. No longer. They are farther than far-right parties in Europe. More fringe parties, by the way. Like fringe parties in the UK, in France, National Front. No, no, no. Republicans are to the right of them. They're against democracy. They're no longer proto-fascists. Many of them are violent fascists. And they're literally calling for regime change in the United States. It's genuinely scary to live in this situation because how do you go forward as a country? They're no longer seeking policy solutions. They're seeking regime change. They're seeking an overthrow of U.S. democracy. You have members of Congress openly calling for Christian nationalism, identifying as such, and wearing shirts that say proud Christian nationalists. We are in really, really bad fucking shape, and it's because the GOP base continues to vote for these dipshits. And you can argue that they're uninformed, you can argue it's because of the duopoly and they don't have any options, so they really prefer Democrats so little that they'd rather opt for a Republican. Either way, they're fucking insane. The thing that should scare everyone is that they're actually looking to autocrats around the globe, and they're trying to copy them. So, for example, Ron DeSantis, he copied Viktor Orban's playbook, right? Viktor Orban, he originally came up with this idea to demonize gay people, you know, ban gays from schools, and that was successful. Ron DeSantis copied that. Ron DeSantis copied the same strategy. So that way, you know, after Viktor Orban did all of this, he said, actually, I'm an ally to queer people. Ron DeSantis did the same thing. He said, hate will not be tolerated in the great state of Florida. These people are copying fascists. They did CPAC in Hungary, invited Viktor Orban to speak. They're, you know, aligning with Jair Bolsonaro, who's a fascist. It's actually scary. Texas school district demands removal of the Diary of Anne Frank illustrated adaptation from its libraries. The school district in question is the Keller Independent School District in uh, Keller, Texas, where a district executive named Jennifer Price requested the removal of the book and others in an email, a copy of which was obtained by the Jewish Telegraphic Agency was originally reported the news. By the end of today, I need all books pulled from the library and classrooms. Jesus Christ. The action comes after conservative activist parents and school board members challenged the content of these books. Objections reportedly included depi depictions of the LGBTQ community and perceived links to critical race theory. The removal of these texts has sparked backlash from certain community members. Yeah, folks, this is fascism. The GOP is fascist. They are a fascist organization.
tremendous, 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 tremendous,